What's up everybody, it's Thermal Square here, and today I'm going to be bringing you a brand new speedrun tutorial, this time for the game of Bugsled. This tutorial is going to be specifically for the Nintendo 64 version and the Nintendo 64 emulator version specifically. The reason that this is going to be getting its own specific tutorial is because on the N64 version, it has its own specific glitches and tricks that can only be done on the Nintendo 64 version that the other versions cannot do. So to start out, if you want to familiarize yourself with the controls of the game, you can go into this training level where you can learn about all the different attacks, movement, jumping, from Mr. Soil. So if you want to familiarize yourself, do the training level. Uh, it's very helpful. Uh, I usually do it to start out just to kind of get myself warmed up a little bit. But the most, one of the important things to start out with for the N64 version is you want to go over to your option settings and you want to scroll down to text speed. You want to put text speed at fast. Uh, this is going to be important for just one level specifically called Clover Forest, but we will get to that once we get to the level Clover Forest. Other than that, all your other settings should be fine. So you can just click accept, and then you once the game loads back up, you can scroll over to Ant Hill, and we will start with the Ant Hill level. Timing for this speedrun begins on the very first input when selecting Ant Hill. So as soon as you select Ant Hill, just keep pressing the A button to get through these little PowerPoint slides, and then you will be prompted to press A to enter the level. This way, Glick. One thing I like to do, kind of setting up uh, for in Ant Hill, is I want to set my camera to still camera. This allows me to move the camera while I'm running. You can see on emulator, I have it set to my uh, trigger buttons. This just allows for easier moving of the uh, camera as we go. So to begin Ant Hill, we're going to want to run up left in this direction here. We're going to round this corner and we'll eventually come to a vine, this one that's right in front of us here. This is where our very first skip is going to occur. What you're going to want to do is you run forward, jump into the vine, jump and then butt bomb up to this ledge here. After that, you're going to run forward past this leaf. And you're going to be jumping up this hill to this fence. There are two things you can do in this spot. You can jump and then butt bomb over the fence. Or if you can hit it right, you can jump and then jump off of the fence again. So you can jump, jump off the fence, or you can butt bomb over. Um, jumping off the fence is a little faster. Mostly because once you butt bomb, you usually land somewhere over here and you can see it kind of loses all momentum and has to regain his speed. Whereas if you jump off the fence, you can land about here and keep all the speed you had. After you get over the fence, the end of the level is right in this little cave here. So that's Ant Hill. Uh, not a very tough level. You're going to want to keep mashing A through these load screens. And then you're going to get this save screen prompt. You're going to want to press the whatever you have set to the B button and press no. There is a second route that exists for Ant Hill. This route saves approximately half a second. But the problem with this route is that there are a few precise jumps that you have to make. And one jump right at the beginning is kind of sliding up of a wall that is can determine whether you save that half second or you lose more time than it's actually worth. So this route looks something like this. You're going to start off by running to your left. And as you get close to the wall, you want to ride Flick's momentum up the wall as he kind of slides up the wall. This route is actually a little more fit for N64 as Flick's momentum and acceleration is a lot quicker than it is on the PC or the PlayStation versions. So again, as you're running up this hill, you about when you're at the wall, you want to make that jump and kind of ride Flick's momentum up the wall so you get to the top. So you want to hold the A button all the way to the top so you get the maximum amount of jump. After that, you're going to make your way forward. And about here, let's get rid of this mosquito, with this little clover plant here, 
Right, what you're gonna do is you're gonna jump butt bomb and just butt bomb across the fence till you get up to this ledge. This is gonna be the same ledge that we make it to when swinging off the vine. The vine is over down that way. And after that, you're just gonna keep running forward. And the ant hill is right here. You'll do the jumps up the hill and then jump off the fence and into oh, the yeah. end uh, trigger. So after ant hill comes the second level tunnels. Again, you're going to want to just mash with the A button to get through these PowerPoint screens. Uh, tunnels is a little bit of a more difficult level. It's definitely longer and has a couple small skips that will help you progress through the level quickly. So to begin, you're just going to want to run forward and basically you want to uh, watch out for these enemies in your path. Um, the first skip occurs right here. In the intended way is to crack this seed here and it'll pop up this mushroom plant. But we can actually skip doing that by just jumping and then butt bombing up to this ledge. It skips us from having to crack open the seed and then jumping off of the mushroom. So again, jump and then butt bomb to get up to this ledge. And then there's another ledge right here where you're going to want to just jump over this gap here. You don't want to fall into it. You want to jump over it. After that, you're just going to keep continuing down, and then you're going to want to be running and jumping off of these sides here. This gives us a little bit of slope speed, uh, just to move a little bit faster. The next skip occurs at this point here. The intended way for this is cracking this seed and then cracking this mushroom seed, jumping up on here and then making our way up here. We can actually skip this process by jumping off of the walls. So once you're about at this point, you're going to want to jump and then you can jump off of the wall again, up to the ledge. So again, jump, jump, and then jump again up to this ledge. One more time, jump, jump, jump. And you can butt bomb to give yourself a little more time in the air in case you may need it. After that, you'll run up here, avoiding enemies, jump over these gaps here. And then again, we're going to be jumping off the walls um, just to get that little slope boosting. Keep moving along the tunnels. Now at this point, there is a little bit of a skip here. You can jump off of this, the top of this mushroom and then jump up to the ledge there. So you jump, jump off the mushroom and then butt bomb up here. That just saves us from having to crack open this mushroom seed and then proceeding up to this ledge. Again, uh, I keep jumping off the walls, trying to avoid the rubble that's falling. Uh, the rubble can kind of get in your way. Again, another jump butt slam up to that ledge. Butt slam over that gap. Continuing to get the slope boost off the wall. Avoiding all enemies. And then the exit is right here. Oh, yeah. Proceed through the congratulations and the level complete screen. And pressing no on the save screen. So after we've beaten tunnels, we're going to be making our way to our first boss level, which is Council Chamber. Council Chamber is a relatively easy boss fight. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be grabbing that blue super berry that's in front of us. What we have to do to grab it is there's going to be a seed underneath it that we crack open and it spawns a propeller plant. The propeller plant will shoot us upward and we can grab the blue super berry. Once we hit the ground, we have to jump because Flick will be in a spinning motion. After that, we can start throwing the super berries at Thumper. What's important is that at half health, Thumper flies upward and we can't quite hit him. So we kind of have to wait for him to come back down before we can start throwing more super berries at him. So console chamber will look something like this. Back over the plant, grab the super berry, jump, and then start throwing super berries at Thumper. 
about half health. He flies upward. I can turn the camera. And he comes back down, you can start hitting Thumper with some super berries. What's important is once you get Thumper down to his last hit, once you beat him, a cutscene plays. But we can actually skip this cutscene by pressing start, going down to exit level, and then scrolling to yes. And then you just go through these level complete screens. And then click no on the save prompt when it shows up. Once we've beaten Thumper in Council Chamber, we're going to be coming to the level Cliffside. Cliffside is actually a relatively straightforward level, and it's not very difficult at all. So once you've clicked into Cliffside, again, just keep mashing through the PowerPoint screens as usual. What we're going to do is we're going to come over to this seed here and butt bomb it to open this dandelion flower. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be getting onto a dandelion seed and we're going to be floating over to the end of the level. The catch is that once you've gotten a dandelion seed, Flick will progressively descend into the canyon. If Flick descends too far and touches the ground, the bird that you can see at the top of the screen will eat Flick and then you basically restart the level at this point. Along the way, there are propeller plants that will push Flick and the dandelion seed upward so we can continue to make it towards the end of the level. So once the dandelion plant is grown, you're gonna jump and butt bomb into it, grabbing a dandelion seed. You're gonna wanna start throwing some berries because this dragonfly here can sometimes get in your way. Um, just keep hitting the propeller plants as I do, floating upward to get more distance. Coming to this one, and once we get past these thorn plants here, we're safe. As soon as I touch the ground, I'm safe. If you touch the ground behind the thorn plants, the bird will eat you. Once you get past the thorn plants, it's just a straight shot to the end. Just jump over these little gaps here. And the exit is on our left here. Oh, yeah. Level complete. No on the save prompt. So after one of the relatively easiest levels in the game in Cliffside, we're going to be coming to one of the hardest levels in Riverbed Canyon. This level is going to contain a lot of the glitches and tricks that are exclusive to the N64 version. And also for this level, I'm going to be showing two different routes, more of a beginner route and then a more advanced route, depending on what you want to do as a runner. So once you enter the level, again, mash through the PowerPoint screens. And then we're going to run forward. At this first intersection up here, we're going to make a left. I like to butt bomb around the corners just in case there's enemies in the way so you can kill the enemies that might be in your path. Once we get to this first point here, this is where our first skip is going to occur. We're going to be hugging the wall here, jumping and moving a little left to get to the top of the cliff here. The point at which you want to jump, there's this little jut in the wall right here. It's around this point that you want to jump, move a little bit left, and then jump butt bomb up the cliff. It's not too difficult, but if you do struggle with it, you can always come back here, grab this seed, and carry it all the way over here. Throw it, crack it open, and then jump up to the top of the cliff. After that, keep moving forward. And at this intersection here is where the routes will differ. For the beginner route, you're going to move left. You're going to proceed down here. And we're going to go up this little, little mound here. And we're going to grab this green token here. Jump down and we're going to retrace our steps back this way. At this intersection, just keep moving forward. We're going to grab this seed. Try to avoid this enemy. You can throw the seed on top of him. Kill him, or you can just try to avoid him. 
And then we're going to crack open this mushroom plant and we're going to grab the green token here. Grab the token again and you're going to want to press your Z button to turn the seed to a green plant seed. We're going to proceed over here and we're going to throw the seed right here next to this mushroom seed. Crack both of them open. You'll jump on top of this green plant and then jump up the cliff here. Make a right at this point. Try to avoid the enemies. We're going to turn this seed to a green seed as well. And you're going to want to put this seed kind of in this corner. Tuck it in this corner here. Make sure we get as much height as possible. Crack open the mushroom plant. And then jump on top of the green plant. And then we're going to jump to our left. Butt bomb and get to the top of the cliff. The trick to that is you want to kind of aim for the middle of the cliff so that you make sure you get to the, jump over the lowest point to make sure you get on top of the cliff. Run down here, make a right, make a left here, follow this, make a right, and at this point there are actually two things you can do at this point. The easier way is you're gonna, you can come over this way, turn this to a green plant, avoid this guy, throw the green plant down, crack them both open, jump up on this green plant, and jump up the wall here. The other thing you can do at this point, let me just move this seed, is instead you can make a left, avoiding that seed altogether, getting behind this mushroom plant. Holding left, you should get some wall jumps. They're not too terribly difficult, as you can see. Um, you just kind of got to keep pushing the A button, holding a little bit left. And then once you get up this wall, however you decide to get up the wall, just run down and then the end of the level is here. For the more advanced tutorial of this level, instead of making a left, we're going to make a right. We're going to skip that seed, get rid of this enemy, and at this point there are two things you can do. You can go to the right here, kind of turn your camera a little bit, and what you're going to do here is we're going to be doing what are called crack jumps. You're going to hold forward, you're going to butt bomb, and flick should get stuck like this. Uh, these jumps can be a little bit finicky. Uh, they are a little bit camera dependent, so you might have to turn your camera left or right depending on if you get it or not. Once you get Flick into this position, what you're going to do is you're going to flick your camera into neutral while also pressing the A button, and then holding forward again to get Flick stuck in the crack again. Like this. One more time. At this height, you should be uh, good enough to get over the cliff. What you're going to do is you're going to flick down, curl around while also pressing the A button to get a jump in the air, and then butt bomb to ensure that you get over the hill. Like that. The other way, and the way I prefer, is you grab this seed, you bring it to this crack here, throw it in, and grow the mushroom plant. Once you've grown the mushroom plant, you're going to hold forward and Flick should get caught like this. After that, you're going to either Flick neutral or Flick to the right and get some more height. Like this. At about this height, you should be good to get over. But this way, we can't actually get a jump. Because we have the momentum of the mushroom plant stored, it's going to project us up and we're going to hold back and curl around to get up the hill. Like that. After that, we're going to come to this point. There are two more things you can do here. There is a seed down here that you can do the mushroom jumps in, like the last one, or you can do crack jumps here, pulling forward, getting stuck. And then at about this height, for the crack jumps, you should be good. You hold back, curl around, butt bomb to get on top of the hill. For the mushroom crack jumps, you'll run this way. Grab this seed here. 
And then, just like the last one, you'll throw the seed into the crack. Things stuck. Flick. And then, around. The, the mushroomless crack jumps do save more time, obviously, because you don't have to get the seed. Um, but if you feel more comfortable with the mushroom jumps, you can do that as well. Um, because we don't have any of the green tokens, we're going to be doing some wall jumps this way. You're going to hold to your left and jump up the hill like that. And then proceed to the end of the level. Mashing through these screens. Once again, at the save prompt, you're going to press no to save. After beating Riverbed Canyon, we're going to be entering the next boss level, which is Bird Nest. Bird Nest is going to be a little more complicated than what Console Chamber was because there's more platforming that's involved in this level. So again, master these PowerPoint screens. And once we enter the level, we're going to immediately move left. We're going to jump up this slope here, jump across the gap, and then jump up here. At this point, there's two different things we can do. We can jump to the right and get up this cliff here, and then jump over here and grab the super berry up there. Or you can just follow the path around here, whichever way you're more comfortable with. And then we're gonna jump up and we're gonna grab the super berry. After that, we're going to jump to the right and we're gonna do a little camera, camera manipulation. Because on the platform we're going to jump to, there is a bug that's walking around on the ground that sometimes Flick will lock onto instead of the, the bird, which we want to damage. What you're going to do is you're going to hold up C, whatever you have to up C. I have it, uh, I have it set on down on the right thumbstick, and then we're going to hold down, which will point Flick's camera upward so he locks onto the bird. So again, that's whatever you have set to up C if you're on emulator. If you're on console, press up C and then press down on the analog on the left thumbstick or on the N64 on your uh, analog stick. So the camera points up. So we're going to jump across. We're going to manip the camera. And we're just going to hit the bird like this. And again, once the cutscene plays, press pause. Scroll down, exit level, yes. And then no on the save screen as usual. The next level we have is city entrance. City entrance is the first level where collecting grain is something you have to do in this game because there's a 10 grain, a 20 grain, and a 30 grain door that you have to collect grain to proceed through. For this, we're actually only gonna need 20 grain to beat the level. So proceed through the PowerPoint screens as usual. And then right away, there's two things that you can do. You can butt bomb the spider that's in front of us to get the grain that's inside. But this strat is risky because if you butt bomb the spider incorrectly, the grain won't appear and the grain route is kind of strict. The second thing you can do is just throw berries at the spider and kill it that way and get its grain. So whichever way you're comfortable with, um, the butt bombing method is a little bit faster than the berry method, so you can also keep that in mind as well. So butt bomb. Grab the grain, and then we're going to make a left right here. We're going to jump over this box. We're going to grab this purple token. Turn around and grab this grain. We're going to turn this seed to a purple seed, which will allow us to get our more powerful super berry. Grab the super berry. Kill this fly. Grab its grain. Kill this taxi bug. Kill this taxi bug and spider. Grab their grains. Grab that grain. And then we're going to be making a left right here. Grabbing this grain. We're gonna turn around. And here we're gonna do some more wall jumps. You're gonna hold forward. 
and you're gonna jump up this box. The jumps can be a little finicky, but they sh you should be able to get it relatively easily. At this point, I like to grab this grain and j fall off the box left here so I don't accidentally fall and land on this spider. Again, if you butt bomb it or land on it incorrectly, the grain won't appear. So I like to kill the spider and then grab its grain there. This is the 10 grain door. At this point, you should have 10 grain and we can proceed through. Run forward, kill this taxi bug, grab the grain. Kill this spider, grab its grain, hopefully. We're gonna go around this glass bottle here. And then we're gonna jump over these uh, green goos, which damage you. Grab that taxi bug's grain. There is a grain in this corner here. Gives us 14. Jump up this card here, grab this grain. Jump over this box and we're gonna kill this fly. Grab that grain. Fall down here, there should be 17. Kill this spider for 18. Jump over the green goo, go right to this grain here. And then number 20 should be this spider right here. 20 grain door, we have 20 and we can proceed right through. And at this point, we don't need any more grain, even though there is a 30 grain door, we're going to skip the 30 grain door. You jump over this green goo, just keep following this path. At this point, we're going to be doing more wall jumps here. So for 30 grain door skip, what we're going to do is we're going to hold forward and wall jump up this box. We're going to hold about a down right angle and then butt bomb over top of the 30 grain door here. So it should look something relatively like this. And then butt bomb right. over top. If you're not comfortable with that method, what you can do is follow the intended path this way to the left. You can get on top of the box here. And this way you'll have a more direct angle to the 30 grain door. What you're going to do is you're going to jump off the box, move a little bit to the right. And at the height of your jump, you're going to butt bomb over top of the 30 grain door this I need more grain and then you'll be over the 30 grain door you'll proceed down this way and this level ends a little bit differently than other ones what you have to do is you have to interact with one of these three warrior bugs here and then a cutscene will play and just like the boss levels you'll press start scroll down to the exit level and then click yes matching through the level complete screens and then pressing no on the save screen. So after beating city entrance, we're gonna be moving on to city square. City square is actually a kind of a complicated level because we're going to be doing another N64 exclusive glitch in which we're going to store cutscenes that are normally played when you interact with any of the other warrior bugs in this level. So we're going to mash through these power points. And to begin, we're going to follow up this way. This I can jump up to this roof and across these cans here. And the first bug we're going to come in contact with is Super Dim, jump. who is right here. This is where the glitch begins. So what you're going to do is you're going to run and jump into Dim. And you're going to continuously butt bomb. As long as you continuously butt bomb, the cutscenes will be stored. And we're going to be storing the cutscenes for Dim, Tuck and Roll, Manny, and Gypsy. We have to interact with each one of those and then end at Rosie. And then just like the boss levels, a cutscene will play and then you'll exit the level. So it should look something like this. Jump into Dim. Store the cutscene. Gonna come this way. Continuously butt bombing. You're gonna trap yourself in this grass, hold upright, get some wall jumps, and then continue butt bombing. Jump into tuck and roll. Jump across this gap here. 
There is a spider down here. Make sure to avoid it. Make your come this way. Jump up this wall here. Run into Manny. Manny is the hardest of the bugs to interact with because his hitbox is so small and Gypsy can sometimes get in the way. After you've interacted with Manny, you're gonna come down this way, avoid that fly. And once you interact with Rosie, Manny's cutscene will play. You'll scroll down the exit level and click yes. So a couple alternate things you can do for this level to make it a little bit easier. Um, if you're not comfortable with the cutscene storage altogether, you can just watch all of the cutscenes that each bug plays. Or you can jump into telescopes and kind of overlap the cutscenes, but still kind of skip them. So for, this only really works for dim and tuck and roll as there are telescopes in the way. So for dim, it would look something like this. You jump into dim, you're butt bombing along, Continuing to follow the path. And then you can jump into this telescope here. And you can see it kind of overlaps the cutscene. And then you can come up to tuck and roll. If you get to tuck and roll, you can also jump into tuck and roll. Follow along the path. Continue to watch out for the spider and jump into this telescope. Still kind of skipping the cutscene, but it's not quite as fast. And then you can jump up to Manny and Gypsy, get their cutscene, and then you can proceed over to Rosie and get the final cutscene and exit level. After we've beaten City Square, we're going to be moving on to the next boss level, which is Bug Bar. There are two different things you can do in Bug Bar. You can get the gold berry that's in this level, which will be f the fastest method, or you can get the blue super berry, which is the slower method, but might be a little bit easier for people if they can't quite get the gold berry jump down. This level also has a is a rotating level in which there's rubble that moves around the level. So you have to kind of bob and weave through the rubble so it doesn't hit you and kill you. So again, just match through the power points. And for the gold berry method, what we're gonna do is head this way. And you're gonna jump off of the wall, jump back and butt bomb into the gold berry like so. And then you'll just kind of go back and forth down the level and hit thud until you've beaten the level. So you kind of want to stop about here and then you can hit thud, turn around, about here, you can get him again, and then just kind of so on and so forth. You can see the blue bear, the blue super berry at the back of the can there. If you can't get the blue or the gold berry method down, you can just run to the back of the can and get the super berry instead. Also, the gold berry doesn't do any more damage than the super berry, so it doesn't matter if you do end up getting the super berry that Thud throws at you. And once you've beaten the level again, exit level and click yes. Mash through the level complete screens. And then no on the save prompt screen. So our next level is Clover Forest. Clover Forest actually got a reroute recently, uh, but it is not a route that I would recommend for beginners. It is a more advanced route and does require you to kind of know where you're going in the level. I'm going to be showing off both routes. So whichever one you want to do, you can do in whatever comfortable for you. So continuing through, mash through the cutscene or the powerpoints. So for the beginner route or the easier route, we're gonna come over to this spot here. You can kind of see a little bit of a line and you're gonna wall jump up the wall here. You're gonna run this way towards Manny and Gypsy. And we're gonna be doing what's called Manny skip. What you wanna do kind of like um, City Square, you're gonna jump into Manny butt bomb over to the telescope over here and then it'll pop you back over here and you're gonna jump out of the hole here 
this allows us to actually move during the cutscene. And for this method, you want to hold down the A button so the text box go through quickly. As soon as you hear Manny say transformation, you're going to pause and unpause to skip his dialogue line so that you can get the bird piece faster. The reason this is slightly... Because of that, it is slightly faster and you can actually grab the bird piece a little bit quicker than if you were to just stand still and watch the cutscene. So you'll grab the bird piece and then you'll proceed over this leaf here. You'll run forward and we're going to pop open this seed which is going to be a propeller plant. You're going to run to this part of the wall here. There's a little jut in the wall and you can wall jump up the wall. Grab the second bird piece. You're going to then grab this brown token, killing the enemy, and then run this way. You're going to jump on this rock, and you can wall jump up this wall as well. And then the third piece is here. If you come to this part of the wall, and you can wall jump up that wall, grab the next brown token, and then jump back down here. You're going to throw this plant and grab this seed. And about a little bit after this telescope, you can throw the plant, butt bomb to grow a dandelion plant, and then butt bomb again to get the dandelion seed, grabbing this brown uh, token. Now we have what's called the cannon plant. The cannon plant can be a little finicky to jump into, so what you want to do at this point, our next bird piece is on top of that tall cliff right there. You're going to uproot the dandelion plant, and then you're gonna butt bomb and then you're gonna jump and butt bomb again you want to wait you want to hold a and at the jump the height of your jump butt bomb again so you land right in the cannon plant so butt bomb and then at the height butt bomb hold forward once you get in the cannon plant and then you'll end up on top of here you're going to then grab this fourth bird piece jump down here run this direction and we're actually going to be skipping a cutscene here so the last bird piece is up there normally what you have to do is talk to francis and slim and a cutscene plays where slim or where francis uses slim to knock down the bird piece there we're actually going to skip this by growing a cannon plant here and jump shooting upward and into the piece over there so again jump Again, hold forward, and you should eventually land on the bird piece. Once you get the last bird piece, press start, go down to exit level, and then click yes. So for the more advanced route for this level, we're going to be starting the level as normal. We're going to jump up the wall here. And we're going to head towards Manny and Gypsy. From here, we're going to be doing Manny Skip, but that's where the route similarities end. What we're going to be doing with Manny Skip is we're going to be getting out of bounds. From there, we're going to proceed through the level, grabbing a few of the bird pieces out of bounds, and then finishing at Francis and Slim. Once we've gotten Manny Skip, you're going to notice that Flick's feet are a little bit underground and what you're going to do is you're going to press forward and press a to jump immediately doing that will avoid the camera getting a little funky and you have to keep jumping while you're out of bounds otherwise you'll just fall to the death plane um, this is also why we needed the text speed set to fast because we can't hold the a button on manny's text boxes just uh, scroll through them quickly. So this trick is going to look something like this. You're going to jump into Manny. And you want to hit the telescope high. Otherwise the trick won't work. Pop in bounds. And immediately start pressing A. And you want to start jumping around this area. Where the bird piece is going to land. You don't want to jump too high. Otherwise you will pop back in bounds. Skip the voice line by pausing and unpausing. And grab the bird piece. 
Next is this ravine. Um, the death plane is very close to this ravine, so you kind of got to get some precision through the ravine. And then you'll proceed this way to the second bird piece. Again, don't pop back in bounds. Second bird piece is right here. That's probably the hardest one out of the three that we have to get. And then you'll move to the middle. From that second bird piece, you'll move to the right, and then you'll end up here at the top where you normally need the cannon plant. You'll pop back in bounds and grab this bird piece. And then we'll finish in bounds over this way, grabbing this bird piece, jumping up here, avoid the telescope. And then there's one more jump up to Slim and Francis. Jump off this rock up to Slim and Francis. And then this part, you, you'll you play their cutscene because we don't have a cannon plant. But you're, this is where you can hold down A to scroll through their text boxes. And then you're also going to cancel some of uh, Slim's voice lines. So talk, hold A, skip, skip. And then hold A, and the cutscene will end a little early, so you can grab the bird piece a little sooner. And then exit level, click yes. One thing that can happen during the out-of-bounds route for Clover Forest is at the second bird piece, you might pop back in bounds, sort of like what I have on the screen currently. And this is okay. You can actually get back out of bounds in this position. As you can see, Flick's feet are still underground kind of like they were when we initially did our original out of bounds. All you need to do in this position is you need to start moving to the right. And you can see Flick is starting to go out of bounds again. Just keep moving to your right and Flick will eventually fall back out of bounds. And you can then continue to go where you need to go to finish the level. After completing Clover Forest, we're going to move into the level of the tree. The tree has a couple skips, but it's relatively straightforward for the most part. The first skip comes right at the beginning. It's just a little faster route to start uh, running up the tree. We're going to go to the left and we're going to come to this tree root here and we're going to jump up this tree root. And then we just skip a little bit of it. And then we have to talk to each one of these blueberries. When you talk to one of these blueberries, a cutscene plays. It's an unskippable cutscene, we can't skip them, they have to be played. But what's nice is during these cutscenes, you can actually move the camera so that you can get a direct angle back towards the tree. So when you talk to them, hold the A button and then press left or right, see about 10 times. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 a more direct angle to the tree keep proceeding jump over this group and talk to this blueberry one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and on n64 it would be left or right c whichever one you want swing across rosie's spider web you want to avoid the try to avoid the acorns You can grab the super berry if you want. Talk to this blueberry. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It's a little bit of a better angle. So you, basically that allows us to not have to blindly run backwards and potentially fall off the tree. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Thanks, Rosie. Uh, avoid the acorn. Jump on the web. Watch out for the acorn. Jump across the vines. Jump across the last vine. Back to the last one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then we're gonna end by talking to Dot. Um, it's kind of like city square, city entrance. You want to make sure you bump into Dot 
because if you don't you won't complete the level so once you see the text box you know you've completed the level and you can exit level and yes level complete go to the level complete screen and no on the save screen after completing the tree we move on to our next boss level battle arena this one requires a little bit of work to get the super berry to defeat molt and we're also going to do something important that'll allow us to uh, proceed through the level so kill the you want to kill this termite and grab this seed here you, you sure want to place the seed this? at this point right here um what's important is you can see the audience is throwing these red berries inbounds you want to avoid these red berries once you've gotten the super berry otherwise you have to collect a super berry over again so once you've gotten this seed here you want to crack it open and you want to grab the purple token that's up there so you you can grow this seed again change it to you a sure purple plant and the super berry will be here um if you can hit molt on your way over that would be good but we want to hide underneath this little canopy oh, yeah. and it kind of avoids uh the audience from hitting us with a uh hey, normal red hard. berry because normal red berries do not affect oh, molt yeah. in any way you're just going to keep going when Molt get ba gets back up, throw another Super Berry, knock him back down. You sure you oh, yeah. do this? Then again, cutscene, press start, exit level, click yes. Let's go through the level completes. Once we've beaten Battle Arena, we come to Ant Hill Part 2. And Ant Hill Part 2 is a doozy of a level. It is the level that has the biggest amount of RNG and can be one of the biggest run killers, especially once your runs become more optimized. So once you get into Ant Hill Part 2, we're going to run forward, forward and left a little bit to tuck and roll. We want to be getting these two green plant, green tokens. So what we have to do is, when you jump, you can see tuck and roll will jump as well. So what we want to do is we want to jump and get bounced off tuck and roll and grab both of the green tokens. Sometimes tuck and roll can be it like pretty separate and it can be hard to get those tokens. So you just kind of got to watch out for that. And we're going to be running around collecting a few more of these green tokens. This I can use. Run backwards, back up this way. And we're going to be getting that gold token right there, which is why we need all the green uh, tokens that we got. We're going to turn this to a green flower. And we're going to jump up these petals here. This will give us a berry shooter. After we've gotten the berry shooter, we're going to jump over this wall, avoid any enemies, and we're going to change this to a berry shooter. The reason this is, so normally what you have to do for this level is get a couple of the gold tokens to get a berry shooter that shoots straight up and will home in on Hopper. But we can actually get ourselves in a position and in a camera position that allows us to hit Hopper with just this uh, berry shooter. The problem is that it's very reliant on how Hopper flies and how Hopper flies is rng we have no we don't know of any way to manipulate his movement and you just have to hope that he goes into good position so what we want to do is we want to run up this rock here get to about this point and just like in bird's nest we want to hold up c or whatever you have set to up c if you're on emulator turn the camera to about you see the tree in the background hold down and hold point the camera up and if eventually hopper gets into good position which you can see he's not one you want to hit hopper nine times so that's two three four five six seven eight and nine then you have to run into ada to complete the level 
The thing with this level is after about the second or third hit on Hopper, the rest of them should come rel relatively quickly. It's just those first like one or two hits that are the two that are the hardest to get and why this level is one of the biggest run killers of the game. So after you talk to Ada, exit level, yes, and you'll get the level complete screen. <laughs> And no on the save prompt, as usual. After you've gotten through the RNG fest that is Ant Hill Part 2, you come to another level that can easily kill your runs. Um, for N64 specifically, I like to manipulate the camera to get to zoom it in as close as possible because the draw distance on N64 sucks. Um, this way, I don't know if it's just a placebo for me, but I feel more comfortable with the camera super zoomed in because personally, I feel like I can react quicker to some of the enemies. But the reason this level is such a RN or such a run killer is you're going to be flying with Ada and Flick. And if at any point you die in the level, you start from the beginning. And... With this level, there are grain, and when you collect the grain, you get a speed boost. And if you die, the grains do not respawn. So that is another reason why it's a big run killer. So just to give you kind of a perspective of what it is. Um, so to to manipulate the, um, the camera, to zoom it in, you're going to use your D-pad. You're going to press left a couple times and then down on the d-pad and you kind of zoom in and then you want to avoid enemies while trying to grab as many grain as possible throughout the level uh the other hard thing is that the feathers the pebbles the shells anything that's on the ground is something that can slow your momentum hopper is also chasing us and hopper can also damage us uh, as you can see, I grabbed an invincibility bubble. Uh, you don't want to rely on getting those. Uh, you want to rely on your skill and your ability to fly through the level. If you do get an invincibility bubble, you can be a little more reckless. Um, but you just... It's all about knowing where to go and avoiding things on the ground. And you want to follow the path that I'm taking because this is where the grain path is. You want to avoid uh, twigs like that because you can see I lost all momentum and I got knocked back. Just, again, it's all about memorizing the level, where everything is. And then once you see that green leaf post, you just fly back here and that's the end of uh, Riverbed Flight. Go through the level complete. Click no on the save prompt. So now we are at the final level. This is Canyon Showdown. This is where we're going to be fighting Hopper in the final level and beating the game. Uh, this level, this boss level specifically, has a lot going on to it. There's a lot of platforming that has to be done, a lot of following Hopper along the level. So you kind of just want to make sure you're getting to the right spots uh, that Hopper is going to be and doing the necessary platforming throughout the level. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to want to run through this gap to this uh, stick right here. There's a couple things you can do at this stick. You can run up the stick, you can jump off the top, and you can butt bomb over to this ledge over here. This is probably the most difficult method. Um, but after you do that, you're going to jump over this platform and you're going to jump over this platform to get to this super berry. The next thing you can do, something very similar, you can go to this stick, you can jump here, turn your camera, and then you can jump this way. You get a more direct angle to this platform and it's a little bit easier than stick jump. And then again, you jump over there to the super berry. If you're not comfortable with either of those, you can jump over here 
Get this dandelion plant. And you kind of want to be aimed at the super berry. Then you're going to butt bomb and you're going to fly forward. You get the super berry and then you're going to fall down over this way. So either way, you're going to come over this way. And then you're going to jump over this stick. And we're going to complete phase one. Hopper should be over here. I like to lock my camera so I can move it in case Hopper gets too close. Again, that's with up C. Uh, don't hit Hopper while he's moving at this point because it will just slow him down a little bit. So just follow the path to this uh, set of platforms here. You're going to jump up these platforms. Then Hopper will be over there and you'll throw a super berry at him over there. So just follow... At this point, Hopper is going to fly to different positions. So, and they're going to be the same positions every single time you get to this level. So you're going to just want to follow the pathing that I do in this platforming section. Once you're on this platform, jump to this platform. Stay on this platform and throw a super berry over at Hopper. Hopper is going to then proceed, go that way. From here, you're going to jump over the platform with the K. You might have to butt bomb and then jump over to this platform here. You're going to hit Hopper again. You're going to turn around. You're going to go back to the K platform. And then jump over to this platform here where Hopper will stop. Hit him again. And then we're going to hit him one more time for phase two over here. And then he'll fly over. Again, don't hit Hopper while he's flying in this position because it will slow him down. Do some more platforming. For here, I like to go this way. Just to get a little ways from Hopper so you're not directly underneath him. Because if you're directly underneath him, it's harder to hit him. Wait here. Hit Hopper again. This way. For this one, I like to jump up here. Hit Hopper again. And then we're going to be entering the last part of Phase 3. Jump up here and then just wait for Hopper. And then you just want to mash the berry button. Again, I like to lock my camera. Timing ends once the screen last cutscene plays. So time would end right there. And that is the Any% percent tutorial for A Bug's Life. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Um, yeah, if you have any more questions, we do have a Discord uh, where you can ask questions. You can ask me questions directly. Um, so yeah, if I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, I will see you all guys in the next one.